We'd like to solve this equation. Let's move everything to one side, put it in standard form. That would be x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Notice I have a four-term polynomial, so we will hope that it factors by grouping. If we look at the first two terms, there's a common factor of x to the fourth, and when I factor it out, I have x plus 3. Because of that x plus 3, I'll factor a negative 1 from these two terms, and I'll have x plus 3. Notice I haven't factored yet. There is a common factor here of x plus 3. And when I factor out the x plus 3, I have x to the fourth minus 1. Have I factored completely on the left side? The answer is no. I'll rewrite my x plus 3. This is the difference of two squares. So it's x squared plus 1, x squared minus 1, and that's still equal to 0. Have I factored completely? The answer is no because of this factor. So let's go ahead and just keep factoring. That's x plus 3, that's x squared plus 1, and this is the difference of two squares, so it's x plus 1 times x minus 1, and that is equal to 0. Now set each one of these equal to 0, I'll let you do that. If you set this equal to 0, it gives you an answer of negative 3. If you set this factor equal to 0, you'll have an answer of 1. And if you set this factor equal to 0, you'll have an answer of negative 1. I'd like to concentrate on this factor, x squared plus 1 equal to 0, and make sure you can handle this factor equal to 0. I will move the 1 over by subtracting 1 from both sides, and I'll have x squared is equal to negative 1. Notice you are now ready for the square root property. If x squared is negative 1, x then is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 1. And remember, that is plus or minus i. So negative 3 is a solution, i is a solution, and negative i is a solution, negative 1 is a solution, and 1 is a solution.